Hello Cawthon Cards community, do I have a treat for you today. We have a sick Modern Horizons 2 set booster box battle. This is the edited version. If you want to see the unedited version, check the links down below in the description for the stream where it was live. Um, if you want to take part in these box battles, make sure to join our Discord. That's where you sign up. There's also a link in the description for that. And as always, if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of these types of videos, hit subscribe. Let's get to the box battle. This is the first ever battle we're doing here, so that's kind of cool. Um, basically the way this is going to work is we take all the rares and mythics opened, including the foils, if they are foil rares or mythics. The lowest mana value and the highest mana value added up of all those rares and mythics is going to win packs. The highest mana value is going to win three packs. The lowest mana value is going to win two packs. Lands have no mana value. X equals zero. If a card has suspend and doesn't have a mana cost in the top right, it counts as zero. Uh, dual face cards, you count both sides. There are none in the set. And then foils count as their printed rarity. If there's a tie, the person with the rare mythic with the lowest card set number, the number in the bottom left corner, it's like one out of 200, the first number one. Whoever's closest to one on their lowest rare mythic is gonna win. If that's a tie, we go next lowest and so on. Best of luck to everybody. Like I said, the first packs, these are Bobby Z's packs. We're just gonna open them, put them in the middle, then I will put them in his slot over here with the rares and mythics on camera and everything else off camera. This is when you want to pull Scion. That is not a lie. You either want to be really high or you want to be really low. So you want all fetches or all Scions. Okay, so let's get started. Have uh, an art card, Forest, Break Ties, Unbounded Potential, Mirror Scrappling, Night of Mirror, Captured by Legax, Foundation Breaker, Liquid Metal Torque, your first rare, Burden Catacombs. So. Bobby's going for the low spot. He does get to keep this. Seal of Cleansing, Goblin and Narcromancer. Foil Goldmire Bridge for a second. I thought that was a foil fetch land. And a Friday Night Magic. So he has nothing so far. Nice hit. Is there a split card rare? If there are split card rares, you count both. Thank you for bringing that up. Go low, Bobby. It looks nice, though. You got an art card, the General Roderick, I think. Land, Chatterstorm, Abundant Harvest, Jade Avenger, Goblin and Narcomancer, Capricorn, Slag Strider, Necrogoyf is your rare, Timeless Dragon for a second rare, Old Border, Goblin Bombardment for a third rare, Ornithopter Paradise, not a rare, Foil Lose Focus, and an add card. So I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but it's easy so far. So he's at 12 right now. List card rares do count. Um, it's the rarity from the set it's in for list cards. And there is a list card here. Now he goes high. We'll see. Pretty cool art right there. Foil Forest. Nested Shambler. Vermin Gorger. Jeweled Eyed Cobra. Funnel Web Recluse. Lucid Dreams. Said Done. That's an uncommon. Fast Furious, that's another uncommon. Fury Mythic, that's another five. Seal of Cleansing again. Bone Shards, Old Border. Foil Wave Sifter. Unexpected results, so he has a rare in the list slot. That was unexpected. Uh, shuffle your library, then reveal the top card. If it's a non-land, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. If it's a land, you may put it onto the battlefield and return unexpected results to its owner's hand. That sounds pretty powerful. Um, unless I'm just totally misreading it. If anybody knows that's worth anything, that'd be cool. Starting out with a dress down art card. Bobby is pulling some nice stuff. Have a mountain, echoing return, sinister starfish, arcbound javelinier, power depot, capricrome, slag strider, barbed spike. Esper Sentinel, nice, that's a low one. Zurin Orb, Tide Shaper, Vermin Gorger Foil, and a mini game. So last pack for Bobby Z, let's see what he gets. Have a Bridge Art Card, Swamp, Jade Adventure, Goblin and Narcomancer, Slagwoods Bridge, Rift Sower, Gargadon, 
Combine Chrysalis, Batterbone, Diamond Lion Rare, Charlotte's Agent Rare, Chatterstorm Old Border, Foil Gouge Zealot, and a Tokens. 27 for Bobby Z. Tank Niner's in a good spot. He's got a list card. And I have a little tiny portion of the pack. SMRT. Did I not sleeve it? I didn't. You were right, Tank Niner. That is a good quote, Darnell. Put the fetch on top. Starting out with a Glimmer Baron art card for Tank Niner. Mountain, Faithless Salvaging, Revolutionist, Viashana Lashclaw, Scophos Reaver, Arcbound Shikari, Monoskelion, Ren's Run Hydra. What? I thought we already opened this. I thought we already opened this. What's this? Guys, come on. What is this? Now, because Tank Niner just said something. Tank Niner, see this right here? You can't see it because it's invisible. But it's going on the Verdant Catacombs. Your next card is the Yavamaya Elder. So congratulations, Tank Niner, hitting that Verdant Catacombs right off the bat. I'd say he's starting to go low, but so did Bobby, and then he changed his mind, so we'll see where he ends up. Yavamaya Elder, Aramiba, Fairgrounds Patrol. This is an uncommon right here. Nazumi Grave Robber or Nightless the Desecrator. From Champions of Kamigawa. Let's see a fetch for all. That would be perfect. Next pack a bridge art card. Island. Tizarus Charger. Disciple of the Sun. Piercing Rays. Soul Migration. Liquid Metal Torque. Tide Shaper. Lonus. Cryptozoologist, that's only two. Unmarked Grave, that's another two, and you got two rares. Vindicate, a three. Three rares. Marble Gargoyle, Old Border. Foil Floodhound Sketch. And a bird token. A Verdant Catacombs for all. This box would be so busted if that was the case. Have a minigame card in the back and a cool looking art card in the front. Foil Swamp for Tank Niner, Tragic Fall, Kitchen Imp, Discerning Taste, Late to Dinner, Sojourner's Companion, Scuttle Tide, Prophetic Titan, Fractured Sanity for your rare, Upheaval for another rare, so you might be going high, Tank Niner. Road Ruin Sketch Card, that's an uncommon. Foil Lucid Dreams, and then a mini game. Two packs left for Tank Niner. They're like games you play with the booster packs. Um, you can look them up on Scryfall, I think, or TCG Player and read how they work. I have a Beast token in the back and an Art card in the front. We've got the Cool Planes, Cabal Initiate, Torox Canical, World Weary, Guilt Blade Prowler, Air Amoeba, Spreading Insurrection, Fey Offering, Unmarked Grave again, Patriarch's Bidding, Onslaught Throwback Rare, Rakdos Headliner, Foil Chatterstorm, and a Beast Token. So last pack for Tank Niner. Have a Deca Dakin art card, but it's upside down. Because, like, it should be like this. Planes, Steelfin Whale, Lens Flare, Blacksmith Skill, Tormod's Crypt Keeper, Arcbound Shikari, Monoskelion, Ren's Run Hydra, Chitter Spitter Rare, Yavamaya Elder, Uncommon, Flundhound Sketch, Foil Seal of Cleansing, and a Goblin Token. So Tank Niner's got the low spot right now at 26. I think you guys are going to end up being in the middle of the pack, but maybe not. Next up we have Myth. These are Myths packs. You missed the whole pack. Lower by one. 
Yeah, you missed the big pack, Bobby. Good luck, Myth. Thanks for supporting the stream. Have a gold sign, Karth the Lion art card by Donato. Pretty cool signature right there. This doesn't count for anything, but Swamp, Goldmire Bridge, Breathless Knight, Landscaper Kalos, Echoing Return, Sinister Starfish, Steel Dromedary, Foundation Breaker, Lonus, Zoo Crypto or Cryptozoologist, Seed Rake, Monoskellion Old Border, Foil Dehada's Ploy, and a Squirrel Token. So starting out with two, that is a duplicate rare. So we have two duplicate rares so far. We have Burning Catacombs and Lonus Cryptozoologist. All the bonus rares do make it hard. Bobby says two, you're right. So we have an art card, foil planes, fairgrounds patrol, marble gargoyle, ornithopter paradise, chrome courier, razor tide bridge, arcbound whelp, solitude mythic, that's five. Diamond line for another two, that's seven from this pack. Patchwork gnomes, late to dinner, gargadon foil in a mini game. So that's seven here and uh, Plus two, they're at nine so far. 97 chaos? You guys need to go somewhere. That's not safe, man. Got a list card for Myth. Got a sweet Svaloon. Good hit, too. Let's get that Solitude in the sleeve. Thanks for pointing that out. That is correct, Tank Niner. Okay, so Svaloon, Art Card, Mountain, Recalibrate, The Hottest Ploy, Misfall Bridge, Flame Blitz, Flame Tongue Yearling, Draben Watcher, Captain Ripley Vance, Yavamaya, Cradle of Growth. Sweet rare hit right there. Seal of Removal. Galvanic Relay, Foil Bannerhide Krushik, ooh, and an Ending, Endling, I feel like we got this list card recently somewhere, that's another 4, so that takes you to 13, 2 packs left for Myth, got another list card here for Myth, Got a Grist art card in the front. It's upside down. Island, Ornithopter Paradise, Chrome Courier, Razor Tide Bridge, Steelfin Whale, Arcbound Shikiri, or Shikari, Monoskellion, Ren's Run Hydra, Arid Mesa. Everybody gets a fetch land. Where's that fetchy? It's right here, Landhead. You called it out. You also get a Sea Drake. I know you're just as excited about the Sea Drake. Bam, says Bobby Z. Hopefully we can deliver for RT Hayes and Guillermo. Flame Tongue Yearling Sketch. Foil Yavamaya Elder. Boros Challenger is your list card, not a rare. Darnell says, whoa. Tank Niner says, damn. Oh man, that Sea Drake heart. I'm glad you like it, Myth. Have an art card in the front. Is that Yavamaya? Nope, Dark Moss Bridge. Got a foil island. Galvanic relay. I see a sea drake. Myth taking home the low number. Quite possibly Arcbound Tracker, Faithless Salvaging, Revolutionist, Viashana Lashclaw, Goblin Trap Runner, Junk Winder. Sanctum Weaver is one of your rares. Might be your only rare. Soul Snare. Kitchen Imp. World Weary Sketch Card and a Treasure Token. So 15. Same myth is probably going to take home the low spot unless we get an all fetch land one. Next up, RT Hayes. Good luck, RT Hayes. Thank you for uh, supporting the stream. The lands did help. Two lands. Got a list card to start things off. Have a. Is this Sarah's Emissary? Let's check. It is. Well, you know, I'm getting to know the set, guys. Mountain, Goldmire Bridge, Breathless Knight, Altar of the Goyf, Lucid Dreams, 
said done, that's an uncommon. Fast Furious, that's also an uncommon. Master of Death, a three drop rare. Thoughtmonder, we're going big. A seven drop rare. Solitary Confinement, a three drop rare. For its 7, 10, 13 in this pack alone. World Weary, Phantasmal Dreadmaw, and Scourge of the Throne. RT Hayes, you have already beat Myth. So you're definitely not getting the low spot. Who filled your spot and how jelly are you going to be? I don't know who filled your spot, bud. We'll, uh, we'll never know. Let's count this pack, because this pack was crazy. Fire pack, indeed. So you have six on the dragon, plus three is nine, plus seven is 16, plus three is 19. 10, 16, 19. In one pack, you've already beaten Myth. You're going big, RT Hayes. You're going for high. I think that dragon was from Conspiracy, and I think we've pulled it recently. I think it's like a $10 card. That's uh, Scourge of the Throne. Have an art card to start us off, as always. Swamp, Lens Flare, Blacksmith Skill, Tormod's Crypt Keeper, Arcbound Mauser, Tavern Scoundrel, Arcbound Slasher, Constable of the Realm, Persist for two. Milliken for two. Lens or well, Milliken doesn't count. Sorry, that's uncommon. Lens Flare, Foil Marble Gargoyle, and a food token. So you only got two out of that pack. You calm down a little bit. Scourge is like 10 bucks. Imagine a Scion next. It is possible. We haven't pulled one out of the box yet. Have uh, that Riches card, whatever it is. Strike it rich. Strike it rich. Swamp, Foul Watcher, Unholy Heat, Gouge Sell It. Storm God's Oracle, Silver Pluff Bridge, Strike It Rich, that's the art card, you got it in the pack. Road Ruin Uncommon, Ave Progenitor Ooze, that's a five hit right there. Gorilla Shaman Uncommon, Gargadun Common Sketch, Foil Echoing Return Common, and a Squirrel Token. So two packs left for RT Hayes, plenty of time to hit that high spot. Love hearing different streamers say Marble Gargoyle. Somebody says 26, we'll verify later. I've lost track. You also want Thrasta. That dinosaur's crazy. Planes, Scofos Reaver, Fodder Tosser, Terminal Agony, Dross Forge Bridge, Hell Mongrel, Specimen Collector, Sanctum Weaver Rare. So this is the third double rare we've gotten in this box. Arid Mesa, that's the fourth double rare we've gotten in this box. Congratulations on the fetch. Followed up by a chance encounter rare. Getting all the rares tonight, bud. Fetch for everyone. So we have two rare mesas, two Vernon Catacombs, chance encounter. That's another rare. That one's four. Glimmer Baron, Foil Storm God's Oracle, and a Crab Token. One more pack for RT Hayes. A fetch for everyone. 28 and everybody getting in the club. Getting fetch. 32 says Landhead. We got a bridge art card. This box has been fire. It's been fun, that's f for sure. Foil Force, Piercing Rays, Soul Migration, Arcbound Javelinier, Power Depot, Capper Chrome, Slag Strider, Barbed Spike, Sithis, Harvest Hand for your rare, Extruder, Faithless Salvaging, Galvanic Relay, Old Border, Noble Benefactor. It's an uncommon. 34. I got 34. These are Guillermo's packs here. Good luck, Guillermo. Thanks for supporting the stream. Guillermo would be perfectly happy if all of his rares were fetch lands. I think this is Sanctifier Unvec. It is. Swamp. Rustvale Bridge. Foundry Helix. Arcbound Prototype. Arcus Acolyte, Herd Bailoth, Steel Dromedary, Fractured Sanity for your rare, so that's another double rare in this box. Grief, good grief. That's a good hit. Let's get that in a sleeve. Uh, no space after Discord Pack Menace, just exclamation Discord, all one word. After the grief, we have an Angelic Curator.
Wow, this box, screw you, car brakes. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Angelic Curator, Gargadon, a foil rare Dermotaxi, not a super big number, but it will help you out a little bit if you're going for that high spot. And a clue token. There you go, Pac Menace. Uh, we also have a D&D &D box break up there. Obviously, we're not going to have that until they come in after release date. But trying to get some interest to know how many boxes we need, how many battles people want to get in on. We are at nine so far, according to everybody, and that is correct. We got the Cryptozoologist art card, Planes, Tragic Fall, Kitchen Imp, Discerning Taste, Late to Dinner, Sojourner's Companion, Herd Bailoth, Thrasta, Tempest Roar. He's going for the top spot, guys, at 21. This one worth anything? Let me know and I'll sleep it if it is. Nykthos Paragon, wow. So that's a 12 plus six, that's an 18 pack right there. Scourge Familiar, Terminal Agony. That's what happens when I look at my hand in Magic the Gathering Arena. Diamond Line, Foil Rare, add another two. So that's six, eight, that's a 20 pack. Wow. Wild, RIP high spot. So we're at 29 after two packs, three packs to go. Back to back fatties. Grass this 264. Sorry, Guillermo, that's not sleeve worthy. It is worthy of winning some extra packs, though, if you get nine more. Upside down grist. Island, fodder tosser, terminal agony, dross forge bridge, hell mongrel, constable of the realm, Arcus acolyte, master of death for another three. Marsh flats. Everybody gets a fetch land. Congratulations, guys. We did it. Five fetch land box. Wow. Let's see what's next. Mog salvage, not a rare. Everybody gets a fetch land. I think you said you needed a marsh flats too, so congratulations. Mine collapse. Oil bone shards. And a Phyrexian germ. Got a list card here. Already have had a rare and a mythic list hit. Can we get another one? Anything's possible, I guess. Have a recalibrate art card. Mountain, Fairgrounds Patrol, Marble Gargoyle, Ornithopter of Paradise, Chrome Courier, Razor Tide Bridge, Break the Ice, Sudden Edict, Chitter Spitter, so that's three. Soul Snare, Ornithopter of Paradise, Foil Parcel Mirror. Man, what an awful list cord. So joining this battle was a good choice. I would say so. You get a fetch land. You get a fetch. We're all getting fetch lands. Woo! Awful list card. Not even going to say its name. So bad. Take it off the list, Watsy. Three to go. Is that to tie or to win? <laughs> Got a cool art card, a forest, Thorn Glint Bridge, Deepwood Denison, Guardian Kirin, Bannerhide Crushock, Dusk Shell Crawler, Smell Fear, Tide Shaper. Three duplicate fetch lands. Guillermo, the only one so far taking home two fetch lands. Oh, what? This box is fire. Let's see what's behind the Marsh Flats. We have a Riptide Laboratory. That's not what you want to see if you want to get the top spot, Guillermo. Prismatic Ending. That is not a rare. Dark Moss Bridge. Also not a rare. I don't think you got there, Guillermo. But you got two fetch lands. I would call that a win. And three is 35. Wow, I think you got it anyway, Guillermo. So Guillermo gets three packs, Myth gets two packs. Congratulations, guys. Let's uh, open up Myth's packs first since Smith got the low spot with two packs. Guillermo's buying the rest of us packs now. I don't think he's gonna do that, but... I'm sure he'd battle you again. I have a Plains. 
Flagwoods Bridge, Rift Sower, Gargadon, Galvanic Relay, Arcbound Tracker, Barb Spike, Arcbound Whelp, Persist, Counterspell, that's still nice even though it's not a rare, Nested Shambler, Foil Terminal Agony. So you gotta persist out of that pack. Google says three fetches per case. Well, a case is six boxes, so that's definitely wrong. If it weren't for that blasted dinosaur, those packs would be more. Yep. Guillermo says, good one, Bobby. Got, uh, whatever that card is. Chatterstorm, Flames, Bone Shard, Dark Moss Bridge, Draykeeper, Dragon's Rage Chandler. Got a nice $5 uncommon there. Abiding Grace, Arcbound Javelinier, Power Depot, Necrogoyf. Don't know if that's as valuable as Tarmogoyf. Wonder, not the best rare. Abundant Harvest, Foil Rift Sour, Time of Ice, throwback list card from Dominaria. Three packs for Guillermo. Let's see what he pulls. Can Guillermo get three fetches? That would be sick after pulling six already. I guess a foil fetch would be a possibility. Calder Complete is your art card. Swamp, Landscaper Kalos, Echoing Return, Sinister Starfish, Tizarus Charger, Disciple of the Sun, Dragon Rage Chandler. Wow. Another $5 in common. After seeing how one takes place, I'd love to take part in one. Waffle Fries will get one set up for next stream. We have Commander Legends. If I have Modern Horizons left, we can do a Modern Horizons 2 battle. I do need a whole box. So Sith is Harvest Hand. Sterling Grove. Haven't seen that one yet, but that's a good one, I think, from Invasion originally. Jade Avenger. Ornithopter of Paradise. And a Squirrel Token. Still haven't seen the sword either. Yeah, we could get another good mythic. Somebody, I think it was Guillermo got the grief. The box does seem low on mythics. I think we pulled three. But when you get six fetch lands, do you really care that much if you're low on mythics? I don't know the answer to that. Forest, Tizarus Charger, Disciple of the Sun, Piercing Rays, Soul of Migration, Fairgrounds Patrol, Marble Gargoyle, Arcbound Whelp. Esper Sentinel, nice hit there. Greed, Step Through, Foil Nested Shambler, and a Timeless Witness. Wirefetch is not Mythics because one of the big selling points of the set was that fetches are rares and you can get them. Here comes Recruiter, it's possible. Art Card, Forest, Tavern Scoundrel, Arcbound Slasher, Rustville Bridge, Foundry Helix, Arcbound Prototype, Break Ties, Scurry Oak. You have got to be kidding me. Three Marsh Flats for Guillermo. Guillermo, I hope you play Black White because you have plenty of Marsh Flats now. Seven in one box. Congratulations, this box is absolutely insane. Nevin Rolls Disc, wow. I see it in the back there, guys. That is a foil, borderless, Scion of Draco. You also got a late to dinner. So there's your foil mythic, guys. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's beautiful. Larry Nevin's disc does not get a sleeve, but Sign of Draco, that gets a sleeve. I think you opened a dozen Marsh Flats. I don't know what this is worth, but it looks super cool. Borderless foil, mythic Sign of Draco. Just think if you opened this in your packs that counted. 12. Never battle Guillermo. He has so much spice. So let's let's take a quick summary of Guillermo's winnings. Scion of Draco. Marsh Flats. Marsh Flats. He has the Esper Sentinel in there somewhere. Oh, and Marsh Flats again. In a grief. Let's find that Esper Sentinel real quick. There it is. Alright. Guillermo, this is what you're going home with. So this box, this box, this this is a good box. S for Sentinel, Grief, Marsh Flats, Marsh Flats, Marsh Flats, Sign of Draco, and an ad card. I don't know how that got in there. But ad card. Just crazy. Crazy. And that's not even mentioning the two Arid Maces in the two Vernon Catacombs we also pulled in this box. That box was insane. Congratulations to everybody who got in on the very first Coffin Cards battle. That was super fun, guys. 
Glad you could be a part of it. Appreciate you supporting the stream. Let's get back to shop mode. If anybody else wants to order packs, head to coffincards.com.